The sun had risen over the earth when Lot came to Zor. Then the Lord rained on Sodom and Gomorrah brimstone and fire from the Lord out of heaven, and he overthrew those cities, and all the valley, and all the inhabitants of the cities, and what grew on the ground. For millennia, Christians have misused Genesis 19 verse 24 to prove that Jesus is the Lord, that is Yahweh God, because they think that the text identifies two who are Lord, that is Yahweh here. This view started with some of the earliest so-called church fathers, like Justin Martyr, writing around 150 AD, that the Son is the Lord who received commission from the Lord, that is God the Father, who remains in the heavens. A few decades later, Irenaeus wrote that Genesis 19.24 points out that the Son, who had also been talking with Abraham back in Genesis 18, had received power to judge the Sodomites for their wickedness. And Tertullian, writing in the 200s AD, claimed that this is a much more ancient testimony that we have here to prove the so-called deity of Christ. However, Genesis 19.24 is simply showing a well-known Hebrew idiom that appears throughout the Old Testament, where the name of one person is repeated. Back in Genesis 4.23, Lamech said to his wives, you wives of Lamech, in Exodus 24, the Lord said, Moses shall come near to the Lord. In 1 Kings 8.1, Solomon assembled the people before Solomon. In 1 Kings 12.21, Rehoboam came to Jerusalem and assembled all the house of Judah and the tribe of Benjamin to Rehoboam. In Hosea 1, the Lord said, I will deliver them by the Lord. Zechariah 10, I will make them strong in the Lord, says the Lord. Again in Zechariah 3, the Lord said to Satan, The Lord rebuke you, Satan. The Lord who has chosen Jerusalem rebuke you. 1 Samuel chapter 20, Jonathan says, May the Lord do all this and more to Jonathan. In 1 Samuel 25, David says, May God curse David. And in 2 Samuel chapter 3, Abner says, May God punish Abner. All these examples have to do with the Hebrew way of speaking and nothing to do with a plurality of persons, two who are Yahweh, which would mean two gods. Other languages would generally use the pronoun I rather than repeating a person's name. Hence, in the parallel account to Genesis 19.24, in Amos chapter 4, verse 11, some English versions use the first-person pronoun, I, instead of the word God. For example, here we have the NIV. I overthrew some of you as I overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And the other accounts of the events of Genesis 19.24 do not repeat the divine name or the title, God. In Isaiah 13.19, and Babylon, the beauty of kingdoms, the glory of the Chaldeans' pride, will be as when God overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. And Jeremiah 50, verse 40, I will destroy it, that is, the city of Babylon, as I destroyed Sodom and Gomorrah and their neighboring towns. Of interest is the fact that some of the Protestant reformers did not agree with those early church fathers. For example, we have this from Calvin. I know that the ancients explained these words, the Lord reigned from the Lord, as signifying that the Father reigned from the Son. But this sense is by no means suitable to the passage. By repeating the word Jehovah, that is the Lord, the divine name, Moses designed rather to point out more strongly the fearful vengeance of God.